Mark. We are beginning tonight with a student protest on the UC Santa Cruz campus that shut down the university for the day. About 250 demonstrators blocked the school's main entrances and exits. Many people couldn't get on to campus. Others couldn't get off. The students are part of a national movement called 96 Hours of Action, an effort to try and bring attention, they say, to tuition hikes and police violence. School officials say the type of protest that they're conducting is highly disruptive. Demonstrators say they have to take drastic measures to get the attention of administrators. Well, many were caught facing charges for bringing traffic to a standstill. Some of the protesters earlier this week, you may recall, they blocked Highway 1 Tuesday morning. Some were in court today. Action News reporter Phil Gomez is live with the developments in our top story. Well, Dan, I'm outside the main entrance of the UC Santa Cruz campus. Coolidge Drive was just reopened by police, but uh, there's about four students who are out there blocking the roadway right now, preventing anyone from coming in. Now, this all started early this morning. Uh, both entrances, uh, the west entrance as well as the main entrance, were blocked by about 300 protesters. Well, about an hour ago, they kind of joined up together, met in the middle of uh, the street here, which is High Street, and started chanting and the like. And so what we have right now is a little standoff with police uh, or motorists, but they seem to have moved right now. But earlier today, they're in, in the in the morning, four of the six UC Santa Cruz students involved in Tuesday's closure of Highway 1 were in court where they pleaded not guilty to misdemeanor charges. I think the students at UCSC are a bunch of morons. It's cost me like an, uh, more than an hour so far. I mean, just totally messed up. The court of public opinion on the streets of Santa Cruz Tuesday morning was one of anger. Six UC Santa Cruz students chained themselves to 700 pounds of cement inside three garbage cans. It caused traffic to come to a halt and disrupted the day for thousands of people. In the county courthouse, four of those protesters pleaded not guilty to misdemeanor charges. Misdemeanors have much lower penalties than felonies, of course. Um, but the thing is, these students are now engaged in, in the justice process. Um, and, and the thing is, it's because they really just start, started a discussion, and, and they did that in a courageous way. Santa Cruz County District Attorney Jeff Rosell said his office filed appropriately. We filed all the charges that the law allows based on the investigative reports provided to us. We're aggressively pursuing those charges, and as the investigation continues, we will consider all other appropriate charges. A student spokesperson also confirmed that all six students involved were served suspension notices while they were in the county jail. They plan to fight the two-week suspensions handed down by the university. They weren't given a due process. They were simply given letters in jail saying that they were suspended without any kind of judicial student judicial hearing we asked in general terms whether the university could seek additional punishment you know we have a student conduct process that you know can it's uh, a process that ensures students have due process when it comes to any allegations of mis misconduct so you know there can be a, a range of penalties that come with any sort of conduct after the investigation as well as an appeals process well the judge set a pre-trial date for uh the four students for March 17th and uh, the other two students who posted bail their schedule for arraignment on that sa same date and just an update on what's going on. It looks like the main entrance is now reopened to traffic and we still have a few stragglers over here, maybe about 20 students blocking a portion of High Street. On the UC Santa Cruz campus, Phil Gomez, KSBW, Action News 8. Meantime, thank you, Phil. More people continue to sign an online petition that asks the university to expel the students that were involved in the protest. Nearly 4,000 have signed the petition. The number continues to climb. People are able to comment on how they were impacted by the protest. The answers range from one person saying they lost a job because they were more than an hour late. One woman said she couldn't get her elderly mother to the doctor. The petition is directed to the UCSC Chancellor, George Blumenthal. They're trying to get 5,000 signatures.